How do you manage happy during times of turmoil? It can be very difficult. For most of us, we'd rather not even deal with turmoil or have it in our lives at all. But unfortunately, we all realize at some point that we don't have a choice in the matter. For instance, how do you manage the ending of an important relationship in your life? I won't get into how to manage dealing with the death of a loved one because for everyone, how they will manage that and how they will get through can be very different and very challenging. And although I've dealt with this in my own personal life, I do not feel like I can tell another person on how to deal and manage that particular thing. But what I will talk about, however, is something I've dealt with a few times in my life and something I have dealt with very recently. And that is how to find happy and joy, even when a personal important relationship has come to an end or that relationship is being challenged. Because I don't feel like it's necessary or that I can sufficiently say that it has come to an end because I do not believe it's a good idea to assume that I know the ending of all things when I really truly don't even understand the beginning of all things. In order to know those things, you'd have to be all knowing. You'd have to be like God or be God or a divine source or understand the creation of the universe and where it came from and why it exists in the first place in order to, to assume that you truly know the future. So I won't assume that. And since I won't assume that, I won't assume that I know whether or not this relationship has come to an end. Which brings me to my point in the point of this video. The point of this video is to help those who are dealing with tough situations that are very challenging, very stressful, and can be very draining on your energy. And when things are draining on your energy, you will notice that you will start to feel depressed. You will start to feel a lot of stress. You may be dealing with anger. You may be dealing with sadness because of a relationship or the strain on a relationship or some challenges within a relationship. So these things are typical. And the point of this video is to try to help you to find some joy in the midst of this. Finding joy in the midst of something that seems impossible to find joy within. But what I would suggest, one of the best ways to find joy that I have found, and I believe others have found this to be true as well, is to not make too many assumptions about what the relationship will be, what the relationship was. Now, true, you would have some memories and you have some accounts of particular things that happen within relationship. And I'm not suggesting that you ignore those things or pretend that they don't exist. But I would suggest that you don't assume that you have the full picture or the full story. And by doing that, I believe you relieve yourself of the stress of trying to figure it all out, which really isn't necessary because the relationship will take the, um, the path that it will take. 
you've gotten to this point in this relationship because it was necessary. And the reason why I say it was necessary because if you truly had control over the relationship 100%, you wouldn't have gotten to a point in the relationship where you were stressed or worried or upset, um, sad or angry. I'm sure you would not have chosen those things for this relationship or for yourself. So it's true to assume, it's okay to assume, I would like to say, that you don't have the full picture and that this relationship has progressed in this direction without your control. So it's best to not try to gain control. It is also possible that the relationship has gotten to this point because you've tried to have control in particular areas of this relationship thus far. And so now you found yourself at a crossroad. And I would su suggest that now is the time to release control. Let it unfold. And while it unfolds, remember to have love for yourself and for the other individual. I know that may be a little complicated or for some, even for myself, that's hard to understand, especially if you feel the person has done you wrong. But you need to have love towards them because, once again, you don't know the whole picture. And by having love, you open up your own heart and you open up healing and you draw healing to yourself, which is the most important thing. Because if you don't have love within you, you can't give love to others around you. And if you don't have love within you, you won't be able to attract better future relationships. So it's extremely important that you hold love for the other person. And it's just not for them, it's also for yourself. Primarily, it's for yourself. So it's important to understand that part. I think that's all that I have to say about this particular subject. But I truly hope that this topic well, this discussion or this video will be helpful to those of you who are dealing with this particular issue. That's all for today. But let us agree to continue to create and live happy one moment at a time.